Once there was a man walking from Jerusalem to Jericho. This is the way from Jerusalem to Jericho. This is Jericho, little town. Well, in reality, it's a little bit bigger than that. Then the path is also a little bit longer than that. And to be perfectly precise, um, Jerusalem is a city on a hill and Jericho is situated in a valley. Jericho, hang on, wasn't there something? Different story I'm not telling now. The man. Where's the man? The man. Here's the man. This is a man. It's a ginger wood. An Asian spice. Grows underground like a potato. With a little bit of imagination you could see a man in it. This is the head, this is a funny haircut, little belly. But you could also uh, chop it up, turkey meat, a cream, a little bit of lemon rice. Tasty. And this man has uh, something with him. A rucksack. And in this rucksack is everything he owns, his entire possessions. Perhaps he doesn't own very much and it fits in there. Or he has sold everything and now it fits in there. It's everything he owns. Now he's on his way, on the way from Jerusalem to Jericho. Oh. On this way, there's a big forest. <laughs> there's a rich vegetation in Israel in those days. And in this forest, a robber lives. Mm, yes. This is the robber. This is how he looks like. A robber looks very different from a normal man. He has bigger feet, so he can run faster. He has this very strong hand, so he can steal rucksacks easily. And he has not a very big head, or not big brain, because he doesn't need to think lots. He's a robber. And this robber carries this with him. An umbrella. It's well known that robbers prefer to go after their business in the dark. <coughs> he can hardly walk. He has so many muscles. <coughs> now he's gone into hiding. <laughs> Give me your rucksack. No, no, that's my rucksack. No, are you a robber? Yes, I'm a robber. The robber beats the man up and left him half dead. Ooh, heavy. That was a good business day today. Uh, uh, no, I can uh, can go home. Yes. What's the sport news? Put my legs up. Help! Help! It so happens that a priest came along, a minister, a man of God. That's him. This is how he looks like. Looks different from a normal man and different from a robber, of course. Yes. Oh, he has a funny nose. <laughs> uh, oh, and of course he has a nice hat. That's important. On this hand, you can recognize him. And then you can see from afar. Ah, 
there he comes, a man of God. Sometimes they have things like this here, right? Sometimes they have the big or funny scarves. Yeah. And this man was on his way from Jerusalem to Jericho. He worked in Jerusalem and the temple. What did he want in Jericho? Was a branch? A holiday home? Nobody knows. <laughs> He discovers the injured man, but he takes a detour, an alternative route, and doesn't help. Oh, oh, oops, um, ah, there's another road, yes, yeah, an alternative road, yes. One have to be open to alternative ways in modern churches, and that's what I am, very open, yes. <clears throat> so, oh, nobody have been here before, yes, interesting. Oh! Look at this. There's a big crowd that could say something good. Blessed are the soulful and the downfallen, because they shall be helped. Yes, that was a good word for this situation. <laughs> He did say something good, but uh, he didn't offer help to this man. And then a Levite passed by. This is a Levite. What's a Levite? A Levite is working in the temple, yeah, full time, like a full time salaried worker in church, or, or like voluntary workers, they don't get money. <laughs> He's very thin, he don't get money at all. <laughs> and these persons are very important, yeah, but they have little, very time, li li little time to spare. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, somebody is lying there. Oh, oh, that doesn't too good. Doesn't look too good. No, oh, oh, no. I better not touch him. No, no, because I have a new white waistcoat. I don't want to dirty my waistcoat. Yes. What happens if we all are lying around here on the street like you? Yeah. Nobody could travel. Yes. You could should go to the hospital. Yes. Yeah. A good idea. We should find people and train them that they can pick them up and take them to the hospital. Yes, that's a good idea. Yes, I need to discuss this with my friends from the church committee and from the conference. And yes, we will do. Yes, yeah, we should do that. Yes. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I, I just pass by. I, I don't touch anything because my brothers are coming and they see it with their own eyes. That's the best thing. Yes. Yeah. The world will become a better place. You will see. <clears throat> but now, Let's start. Let's do something about this. <laughs> many, many words. But this person still lying there. And then a Samaritan came by. Ooh, Samaritans. <laughs> Samaritans are people you don't really like at these day at those days. They are green, and they are dripping, and they have a funny skin. Oh, well, like gherkins. Oh, nobody likes gherkins today. Like Samaritans. Oh, two of them. Oh, two. Oh, because he had a riding horse with him. A riding horse. How could I do a riding horse now? Oh, classical style. Let's go, horsey! <laughs> What's up? Oh! Somebody's lying there. I have to look. Oh no! It's an injured man! Oh, blood everywhere! Oh, we need to help! Horsey! 
This man is a human being like you and me. Oh, can you give me the plaster box, please? Oh, that's not enough. It's all dirty. It's not sterile. Wait, I will pick you up and I will transport you to the next to the next hospital. Yes, I, I, I count to, to three and then you make a little beep that you're okay. Okay? One, two, three. You're not making a single little beep. Go on, horsey. It's urgent. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> and he brings him to the next hostel. Hostel. Huh? Oh, let me knock at the door. Hello? <laughs> ah, somebody in there. That's good. I like to have a room for my friend. Yes, he's not very well. Yeah, a little bit sick. Yeah, and perhaps you can bound the, his wounds again with, with yeah, uh, that would be great. Oh, you have a nurse, a we trained nurse. Oh, yes, that's good. Yeah, uh, I'll pay. Yes, I'll pay for all that. Yes, no no problem. Yeah, I, I come back. I need to leave now, but I come back and then I can pay a little bit more. Yes, good. Yeah, you are the very best ones. Yes, yeah, see you. Bye, bye, yeah, bye, yeah, bye. Yeah, so, hey, my friend, just go inside. I organized everything for you. Um, the money, um, that's not your problem. You have problems enough. I'll pay the money. Your, your thing now only to get better soon. My friend. Come on, Horsey. <laughs> in order to be able to fully recuperate, first thing one needs is a long bath. <sighs> oh, that's good. Oh, I really, really needed this now. Ah, ah, so good. And second thing, Loads of peace and quiet. Who do you think? Who of these three persons, the priest, the Levite, or the slimy dripping Samaritan, was a good neighbor, was a good friend to this person? The Samaritan. Yes, that's true. Because for him, the man lying on the floor, it didn't matter really if it was a man who liked him or didn't like him to make the decision to help him or not. He just did what he was called for. And Jesus says, Go and do likewise.